unwrapped assets, especially because as Ben mentioned on that call, not only can we make them compatible with another blockchain, but he kind of dropped the hint that it's actually to enable its use in DeFi. So for me, that was just more confirmation that this is actually a big canary. This entire blockchain event has been one big canary to move everything into Stellar. Another massive takeaway for me was about quantum computing and how you actually need quantum computers to wrap entire blockchains, which again is further confirmation that all the cockroaches scurrying about on the Stellar blockchain who are pretending to have these massive legitimate wrapped assets are actually nothing more than fluff. And then the last big takeaway for me was that this dividend formula that's gonna be paid out through some of these bridge, um, bridge assets is currently still being tested, guys. So just like with smart contracts, they have to do things very, very small and then in time grow larger and larger. And that's the reason why in the beginning of all the dividend payouts, the value is gonna be very small. And then over time, as liquidity comes into the system, that's when you'll be able to have more off-rampable numbers. So hopefully we'll be able to get into that a little bit later on this call. Now, Ben, to kind of kick things off, um, I just want to say that I love the timing of our interview last month because a couple, I think it was a couple of weeks after that call, we actually had a lot of articles come out about the Ledger Nano wallet hack, which is actually what we know as the Ledger Nano wallet bridge and how that ties into a cat abstraction and ERC-4337, all of these things that we've been studying for the last year. So with that being said, I hope people who are listening to this call took Ben's advice 